Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Jerome Maldonado. So, so I was sitting down and I was reading up on the new bills that are being passed um, or working on being passed. They're not passed yet, but the IRS um, wants access to your bank accounts. So Biden's trying to um, put, pass a new bill where it says that, and, th and there's a lot to this bill. It's over 100 pages long. So understand, I'm hitting out the key points that affect real estate, real estate investors, and all of us as U.S. American taxpayers, okay? And so um, the new tax laws, as they're written out, um, there's, there's a couple different points that um, I'd like to uh, talk about. One of them is the fact that anybody who has any account that has over $600 in it, the, the IRS wants it to be tracked and they want a law that it can be tracked. Um, so that doesn't matter what type of account it is. Some people are going, okay, I'm going to take my money out of the bank or I'm going to put it, uh, you know, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an IRA or a stock account. doesn't matter. Even you crypto people that are, that are listening, listen up, ladies and gentlemen, your crypto accounts, they can be anything over $600 in your crypto accounts can be tracked and they want it to be, they, well, they want it to be tracked. Bank accounts with over $600. Bonds, IRAs, stock accounts, investment accounts, over $600, they want to be able to track any account with over $600. So if you have an Ameritrade account, Scott Trade account, um, E-Trade, it doesn't matter. All of your accounts that have to deal with banking, finances, investments, crypto, any of it, they want to be able to track all of that stuff. And they're, they're wanting to allocate, they want to increase the budget by 3000 um, by 2000 33, they want to be able to um, have over, um, they want to increase the IRS um, payroll budget by over 90% and increase the, uh, the amount of employees the IRS has um, almost double what they have now within the next within the next 10 years or less. And so what does that mean for U.S. Americans? That means more people are going to get audited. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to come in and attack the ultra wealthy, right? But here's what happens, ladies and gentlemen. Most people that are running lucrative companies and lucrative businesses, they get to a point where they can't themselves facilitate the day in, day out taxes that um, their businesses are, are going through. So a lot of times it's not the big corporations that are going to get affected by this or the large asset collectors like that have large CPAs and accounts. So these people already have people put in place that take care of their taxes, finances, and find the best tax strategies to take advantage of the tax write-offs, right? So like we talk about real estate, tax deployment, tax, uh, deploying capital tax deferred, and um, we always advise that you guys talk to a great real estate attorney or tax professional to be able to help you guys. Who this lands up affecting is the mass majority of the middle class and lower income. Now, it's set in the statute, that is set to be able to hit more of the upper middle class and wealthy, but ladies and gentlemen, what lands up happening is the less affluent small business owner, which employs the mass majority, over 80% of our, our population, um, are the ones that are typically having tax issues. I know I was fortunate enough to have my, my dad do my taxes for many, many years. Um, there was uh, tax years where there was some stuff that we didn't understand. We, had, we, we faced some uh, um, variations in taxes and so forth that we had to clean up, take care of, got fined, paid penalties, and move forward. And most small business owners go through those small logistical stuff but it's the ones that don't have that set in place that are going to get affected the most and so what's going to happen is they get these audits they're putting more people out there to audit more small businesses more individuals and anybody over with over six hundred dollars in their bank account and what, what re, what's really is scary about it is it really attacks your rights and the fourth amendment where you can go in and it says you have the privacy of of not disclosing um and can't be um taken from you all your paper rights, um, your, um, your privacy rights, and everything that's in disclosure um, for you personally. But the way that they're getting around this is that they're not going out and they're not attacking it and they're not taking it from you. Um, they're, they're requiring it from you and the way they do it is, well, the way I believe it's gonna happen is they'll have some type of disclaimer at the bank. So at some point in time, you'll get a paper in the mail or maybe something at the bank on an ATM machine um, or something on your, uh, when you go to the bank and you slide your car in and pull up your account that you click yes on a box, you can't proceed to you, click yes on a box. And in that box is gonna be a policies and procedures that asks for your allowance to be for them to allow the IRS to come in and look at your bank account. 
And so without even knowing, because most people don't read those terms and conditions that are lengthy, and especially if it's on an ATM machine or on one of the little um, card machines at the, at, the, uh, at the ATM counter or at the uh, clerk counter, you have to sit there and read through it and dissect it and say, well, let me get back to you. I'm going to take these terms and conditions to my attorney. And how many, you, how many Americans are going to do that, right? You sit down and you go, well, let me take this back to my attorney. Let me have him look through it. And then don't worry about the money. I'll come back tomorrow, the next year, the next day to come in and take care of my banking so that my attorney can review these policies, terms, and procedures. And then if I don't like them, I'll have Mr. Banker, Mr. Banker change them for me. Yes or no? The answer is no. It's not going to happen. And so what happens is we land up clicking, giving them access. Now they found a way around the Fourth Amendment for you to allow them to get access to your bank account. So will it happen in that exact same nature? I don't know. All I know is there's going to be, there has to be something that happens similar to that that allows them and gives them access that it grants that you get you grant them the right to have access to your account. So probably be now from here forward on any new bank account once if the bill passes um, that you're signing on that initially, and they'll probably have it in multiple places. And that way, if it ever comes down to a Supreme Court ruling or a, a lawsuit or something um, in the in the courts. It is protected legally. Now, here's what's funny um, about the uh, about taxes and the IRS. Um, so the IRS is a non-governmental agency, just like the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve was implemented in 1912. Okay. Now, the Federal Reserve is a non-governmental agency that prints money, lends that money to our federal government. The federal government pays them back a percentage of interest to borrow that money that the Federal Reserve prints. Now. The IRS, ironically enough, was created in 1913, which is the first year that taxes were actually implemented for the U.S. American people. And the reason that our government put that together was so that that way they can charge you federal income taxes. So when they collect the federal income taxes from you, they pay back the Federal Reserve for the money that they that they're printing on our be on the on the government's behalf. Now, in our constitution, it says that our government itself is the only one that has the, the given right to be able to print currency. Although we gave up that that right in 1912 when we uh, allowed the Federal Reserve to print money on our behalf, which is non-constitutional, and that's what happened. Um, and, and so there's been there's a lot of politics that go on behind that. I'm not going to get into the politics and logistics of that today. I just wanted to simply inform you guys of what's happening with these new tax laws and new um, IRS regulation laws that they're trying to set in place in the Biden administration. So. Ladies and gentlemen, another um, act from Congress trying to in, invade and infringe on your freedoms, your rights, and your privacy, and um, and yet putting more restrictions in governing uh, in governing abilities to be able to uh, come in and audit our uh, our finances simpler, easier, and more aggressively, and it's going to affect everybody, ladies and gentlemen. So um, you know, a little information um, for your research for your um, for your liking, if look, we sit down, we read these articles, we uh, do the research, and if you like this content, ladies and gentlemen, and you want more stuff just like it, then click below. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know that you like the content that we're creating. Click and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get notified of more content that we're producing just like this. Ladies and gentlemen, go out and make it a great day, and don't forget to compound your success.